What's going on? This one's uh, coming in from Gary Wycuff. DC4 will light it up. Defense massively improves. Hi, Mom. Terry. Playoff bound. And then uh, Tom AB. I do think Derek Carr is going to be a lot better this year. He finally has some options around him. And I know you're probably saying that because of the Aaron Rodgers show that I did. But bottom line, Aaron Rodgers is a talented quarterback. But if DC4 gets back to 2015-2016 range, hey, yeah, I'll take DC. So I do appreciate the Super Chats. And I'm trying to figure out a way to show you guys that I appreciate them a little bit more. So from going on from in the entire month of May, I'm going to show you guys my biggest Super Chats. And this is from my last live show where I got a $300 one from Robert Kirby. So, Robert, I appreciate you. But basically every single week I'm going to update this list to put the top five Super Chats and just keep them on every single show just to show you that I do appreciate you. Let's go to Henry. What up, Henry? Shout out to my boy Chris. He's a Browns fan, but I made his mom a Raiders fan also. Okay, Henry. I'm excited to see our rookies in action. Rug's going to tear it up. First off, Henry, uh, congratulations. Hopefully you got her some flowers, maybe at Pro Flowers. Go to chatsports.com slash mom. <laughs> um, but, uh, Henry, appreciate you. Appreciate the super chat. And, yes, I, I do agree that Henry Ruggs is going to absolutely tear it up this season. I, I can't wait to see it. Hopefully not as much as you've been tearing it up, though. Let's go to Lucas. What up, my man? Do you see Tavon Coney as a potential backup instead of practice squad? So the Raiders literally – just cut Coney. He is no longer on the team. So uh, my answer to that is no. I, I don't see that happening. <laughs> um, which, yes, the, here are some May 5th cuts. Also, the other player here on this list, it's uh, Deshaun Kaiser. Kaiser's cut saves $1.14 million, But as you can see, about, I don't know, an hour before I got on today's show, they also moved on from uh, Coney, who I really liked him ever since he came out of Notre Dame. Let's go to Eric. What up, Eric? Make sure you guys are using hashtag Raiders or you can super chat. That's how you're going to get on today's show. Do you think Mariota starts by week 10? The answer to that is, okay, Do the Ra are the Raiders going to make the playoffs or not? It's realistically, I think, the, the question we need to ask. Because if you think the Raiders are going to make the playoffs, Mariota doesn't see the field. And that's just the way that it is, right? Unless Derek gets hurt. Now, I'm going to say no because I do have confidence in Carr and I do have confidence in this team. So I'm going to say no, but if you think that the Raiders make the playoffs, Marcus Mariota doesn't touch the field this year unless Carr gets hurt. Because if the Raiders make the playoffs, Carr plays well, and then if Carr plays well, then you don't see Mariota. So, hey, that's all I'm saying. But I'll tell you this. If Mariota does start some games or if something happens to Carr, I can guarantee you one thing. I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date as possible. So if you want the latest news, rumors, and if you like the live shows, go ahead and hit that sub button. While you're down there, there's something that looks like a bell. Turn on the notifications so you know every single time that I drop a video. But bottom line, you're not going to find somebody that tries harder than me. I, I put out a lot, a lot of videos, and I just want you all to know that I appreciate you. And all I ask, it's 100% free. It helps me, you know, put clothes on my back is if you go hit that sub button. And you know what? Maybe get your mom something special too. Let's go to Armando. <laughs> Do you see the Raiders' defense being a top 10 defense? So one of my bold predictions that I gave was that the Raiders would be top 15 in points against and yards against. It has been since 2010, okay, since 2010 that the Raiders have been top 20 in both points against and yards against. It's been since, I believe, 2002 since the Raiders have been top 11 in points against and yards against. Do I think the defense can be top 10? Sure, but let's take baby steps. I'm going to just shoot for top 15. But I appreciate the comment, Armando. Again, if you want to get on the show, we got close to, what, a 1,000 people watching us now. Use hashtag Raiders or you can super chat. What up, Rami? Appreciate you. What do you think? Oh, God, I can't read. <laughs> who do you think will step up big and who do you think will not do good? Okay. <laughs> um, I would say from our rookie standpoint, somebody that I think is going to step up, I think Amik Robertson, you're going to see real quickly, is a playmaker. He had 14 interceptions in college the last three years. I think a player that might not do well, and it kind of pains me to say it, is LaMarcus Joyner, and it's just because of how bad he was last season. I'm hoping it was just the injuries, but I don't have a lot of confidence in LaMarcus Joyner. But luckily for us, if it doesn't work out, we can, you know, move on and go to a player like Amik Robertson or maybe even go out and 
get out another player. So Mother's Day is on Sunday, and I hope you're not a jerk and you don't forget about your mother, maybe your grandmother, whoever. Go get the mother of your children some flowers at chatsports.com slash mom. You can save 15% off. They got flowers, they got candies, and I don't know about you, I'm uh, not the best at picking out gifts. I just found out that my mom's favorite flowers were lilacs, but luckily for you, if you go to the Pro Flowers website, they have something that just says best sellers. You can click on that, and it gives you a variety of options where it's like combinations of flowers and chocolates, or there's teddy bears. Bottom line, you're not going to be able to show your mom that you think you care about her more unless you go to Pro Flowers. It's at chatsports.com slash mom. It's in the comments. It's in the description. Again, it's 15% off. Let's go to Antonio. What up, Antonio? You think Joyner going back to safety? I, I don't think so. I think they really want to try to make him a nickel corner. And if, if the Raiders wouldn't have gone out and gotten Demarius Randall, I, I think maybe you could have seen him go out and do it. But I think the reason why they brought in Joyner and the theme of the Raiders the last two years has been versatility. They want Joyner to be that Swiss Army knife where he can play corner, he can play nickel corner, he can go back to safety and move them all around the football field. Like, I know I show depth charts a lot, but the amount of times you're going to see players playing in different positions this year for the Raiders is going to blow your mind. Let's go to HYD Raider. <sighs> Raiders, all right, so you mean Tanner Muse becomes our starting outside linebacker by midseason. I mean, he's a freak athlete, right? I mean, I know some people got mad at me when I said he's going to play linebacker, but as soon as I saw that he was wearing 55 at the combine, and as soon as I talked to Tom, and Tom's like, he's going to be a linebacker. I mean, for a linebacker to be able to run a 4.41, is he technically a little bit undersized for the position? Sure. But dude is pushing Jeeps in his driveway. He's canoeing. He's in phenomenal shape, and he's a leader. Would it surprise me if he was starting by the end of the season? No, it, it honestly wouldn't. I got a super chat coming in here from Reginald Martinez. Reginald. <laughs> I, I can't read. Um, do you think John Gruden's offense was altered because AB left, or do you think we will run the same O, use rugs to make it open more? I do think the offense was altered, right? I mean, as much as we all dislike AB, when on the field, he is a very talented receiver, and I think it definitely would have helped us because in terms of play action as well, he would have opened things up. I do think, though, that this offense, and Gruden has kind of said it before, we're going to be smash mouth football. We're going to run three tight end sets, but they're also going to be versatile where you can also do a four or five wide receivers because they think they have the speed. And when you have Henry Ruggs, when you have Lynn Bowden, when you have some of these other playmakers on offense, I do think it's going to help you really open some things up. So you mentioned, okay, A.B., I think the guy who's going to help us fill AB's shoes is going to be Henry Ruggs. And if you want a jersey, I want you to let me know which jersey you would rather have. So would you rather get a Max Crosby jersey, type MC, or would you rather get a Henry Ruggs, type HR? Now, this is on my Instagram if you want to go vote. It's also on our community tab as well. Whichever you vote for is the one that I'm going to give away. And I'm going to give away a jersey on my IG. All you got to do to qualify is be subscribed to the channel and to give me a follow on IG. That's literally it. And I have it on there. Uh, I posted on the, my Instagram about two hours ago. If we can get the 15K followers, I'll give away both. So if you guys want a better chance of getting a jersey, go ahead, give me a follow on IG. It's at MitchellRen365. We got another super chat coming in from Louie. Do you think the Raiders use the read option with Mariota or the Philly special? Maybe some wildcat and short yardage situations with Jacob or Ruggs. I actually do. I, I know one of the reasons why the Raiders wanted to go out and get Mariota, I think, was just to open up the playbook a little bit. I mean, you go about and you look at teams that have mobile quarterbacks, it does open up things for the running back. And I think when you have a player like Lynn Bowden, who played wide receiver, running back, quarterback in Kentucky, that's going to help. Then you have the speed of rugs, which no matter what, as soon as he goes into motion, you got to respect it. And then, yeah, if it's like fourth and one, if it's in a tough situation where we struggled in the red zone last year. Don't be surprised if Mariota comes out on the field, and that, that's just another player you got to account for. So, yeah, I, I do expect the Raiders to be a little bit more creative. Let's go to Jesus. What up, my man? Do you believe that this year's rookies will impact more than last year's rookies? As much as I love our rookies this year, I'm going to say no just because of how good our rookies were last year, right? I mean, we should have had the offensive rookie of the year in Josh Jacobs. You definitely can make the argument for Max Crosby. 
But, I mean, if you go back and look statistically, the Raiders had probably the best draft class in the last, like, 10 years out of all NFL teams. I mean, if you just look at stats alone, right? So it's nothing against our rookies this year. It's just we had such a good class last year. Now I'm hoping that we can build on it, obviously. But I mean, you guys know I'm, I'm excited about the class. But comparing every class to 2019, we're going to just need to pump our brakes a little bit. Let's go to Sean. Remember, get in the hashtag Raiders or you guys can super chat. Got close to, uh, what, 1,200 people watching right now. I think 4,300 yards, 29 touchdowns, and four interceptions for Derek Carr. Mm. I don't mind the the high aspirations. However, I mean, last season he was, what, 70% completion percentage. Last season he threw for 4,049 yards, which was a career high. I could understand you being excited with us going out and getting some extra speedsters, but... I think he throws for less yards. I think he's going to throw for less than 29 touchdowns. And four interceptions, I actually, that really wouldn't surprise me. I think if you're looking at a solid year for the Raiders, if Carr can go out and throw for like 4,000 yards, honestly like 25, 24 touchdowns and the four interceptions, I think that means we win more games because we're running the football a little bit more where we can establish it with Josh Jacobs. So we're going to get a little bit more creative. So I'm not ripping on Carr. I'm saying... If we're winning games, we're going to run the football more, and that's what John Gruden, and that's how this team's going to win games. Let's go to Matthew. Get a picture. Do you think you have a chance in a 40-yard dash against Madre Harper? So for those of you that don't know, I interviewed Madre, one of our UDFAs, and if you haven't seen the interviews, go check them out on the channel. I got Madre Harper, and I got Dominic uh, Eberly. I challenged Madre to a 40-yard dash because this is my argument, okay? You guys can get on me for this. If you watch the Olympics... Every single athlete in the Olympics is incredible. They need an average guy, me, average Joe, at the Olympics running next to these people. That way you can see how special they were. So Madre apparently ran a 4.4140. I'm trying to see if it's true. So I'm going to challenge him to a race, which he's accepted. So as soon as all this craziness in the world dies down a little bit, him and I are going to meet up at a track in Dallas. And yes, we are going to race the 40-yard dash. Now, there was a lot of questions that came on today's show, and I'm sorry if I didn't get to them all. If I missed it, you can just hit me up on Instagram, at MitchellRen365. And just another little bonus, if you follow me on IG, you have a chance to win a Henry Ruggs or a Max Crosby jersey. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this, I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.